Hello, welcome to this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, you are going to learn about the concept behind list, set, tuple, and dictionary. Yeah, most of us uh, are uh, confusing about the concept of this uh, collections of Python. So after watching this video, you will uh, learn uh, the difference and similarities of this collections of Python. All are built in collections of uh, Python used to store data. We use this collections of Python for uh, storing uh, a variety of data. So as a data scientist, data engineer, or Python developer, we are using this collection of data, uh, I mean, uh, collection of Python for storing uh, data. So we are using for everyday activity because they are powerful for storing any data. Uh, lists and tuples are stored in ordered collections of data. Uh, the data which is stored in lists and tuples are in order. While dictionaries and uh, sets are stored in ordered collections of data. These are the concept you should have to understand which one can store in unordered and which one store in ordered data. So you should have to differentiate uh, about this collections of Python. So dictionary and status store unordered collections of data while tuples and lists store in ordered collection of data. Those are the difference. And dictionary can store data in the form of key value pair. Others cannot store in the form of key value pair. This is the other distinctions between this collections. Uh, they are mutable, except tuples. Lists, dictionaries, and sets are mutable, while tuples are not mutable, which means immutable. So the objects which are mutable, so you can change the values of uh, the object. So you can uh, change the values which is stored in dictionary. You can change the values which is stored in list or sets. But you cannot change the values which is stored in tuple. That is called immutable. Objects which is immutable cannot be changed the values of that object. The most important thing you should now about this uh, concept is because which one store mutable and which one uh, cannot store mutable uh, data or object. So you should have to consider while storing your data because uh, if you are a data scientist or Python developer, you can store data uh, in one of the collections of Python. Either list, tuple, dictionary, or uh, status. So you should consider uh, about that, the mutability of the collections. All right. And they allow duplicates except sets and dictionary case. Lists and tuples allow duplicate entries. So you can uh, store duplicate data. Actually, duplicate data is not important uh, as a data scientist, but in case there may be uh, duplicate data in your, uh, in, uh, stored in the one of the collections, except sets and dictionary case. That's why most of the time we prefer uh, dictionary to store data uh, uh, to avoid duplicates. So sets and dictionaries uh, does not allow duplicate entry. Because in dictionary, 
the keys cannot be duplicated. One key refers one value. All right. Uh, how can we define this collections of data when it comes to the practical session? Lists can be defined or declared within uh, square brackets. The elements in the square brackets can be separated by comma. Uh, Setters uh, are enclosed within brasses like dic uh, dictionary, but the difference uh, between sets and dictionary are dictionary can uh, store data in the form of key value pair, but sets does not. Uh, tuples uh, declare or define the data within a parenthesis, parenthesis. And dictionaries uh, define or declare data in the form of key value within uh, browsers. So this, those are the way how you can define this uh, collections of data. Python has a set of built-in methods that are used on those collections. So there are a lot of built-in methods to manipulate data uh, stored in those collections because you can use, uh, for example, append to add a new item in the list. You can use pop to remove item from dictionary or uh, list the last uh, item and so on. So it has a set of built-in methods that are used on uh, this collections to manipulate the data. So those are the basic concepts of uh, collections of data uh, behind the practical uh, sense. So you should have to understand the concepts behind this uh, lists, tuples, dictionary, and uh, sets. Thanks for watching.